The Infernal Mask by Richard Gavin is Richard Gavin's sequel to uh, the previous book that he had published through Theon Publishing also called The Benighted Path. Now I'd reviewed this just a few weeks ago already. This is the second edition which was uh, uh, which was released through Theon Publishing also um, and um, I, I talked about how approachable it was, how easy it was for somebody who wasn't necessarily um, uh, familiar with these ideas of searching for the numinous in the nether regions, in the darkness and, and, and right, this kind of, uh, these kinds of ideas. So somebody who wasn't already familiar with this uh, was very easily able to approach the benighted path, not quite so with the infernal mask. Richard Gavin is, um, uh, is now speaking to an established um, uh, readership, <clears throat> uh, an established audience uh, who is likely to have already read the benighted path, already digested the information therein and maybe uh, identified with it and um, uh, and and taken it on to be, maybe not taken it on, but recognised it to be their own path, their own um, uh, philosophy, and and so on and so forth. Right. So uh, the infernal mask speaks to those readers who uh, are still <laughs> still hanging on, basically after after the benighted path. I loved the benighted path. The infernal mask was not written for me. I loved the benighted path because it was speaking to a general audience, uh, whether you agreed with its premise or not. Um, uh, it was easy to understand what it was getting at. It was easy to understand uh, what the author was was uh, referring to. The infernal mask speaks in uh, in much more metaphor, metaphorical um, uh, uh, ways and. Um, the reason it does that is because it's going much deeper necessarily. So, uh, of course, we use metaphor, don't we, to talk about things that language wasn't necessarily designed for, right? So language was designed for uh, selling uh, cattle and, uh, uh, and, for, um, uh, and for social interactions, not necessarily for talking about supernatural events and uh, and the numinous and uh, and and well all the philosophical the uh, uh, how to say the the, the metaphysical the philosophical uh, topics that are covered in here so uh, did i think that it was a competent book absolutely did i think that the um uh, the readers of richard gavin's who um have identified uh, themselves as uh, the targets, the the ultimate targets of uh, of the benighted path. Um, uh, yeah, they, they're going to absolutely love it. Uh, but but the book was not written for me. Uh, this is not my path, and so um, uh, because it's going so much deeper than the previous volume, uh, it it left me behind because uh, I, I I think you would need to be. Uh, a, a person, how to say, uh, who who is who is already so deep into this that the metaphors presented are uh, are obvious to you and evident uh, what the author is in fact talking about, and I think that that's going to be a very wide audience. In fact, anyone who is um, into, let's say, the left hand path. Um, in uh, at least the, the the Western idea of the West the, the left hand path is really going to engage with this in a in a very real way and um, uh, and I think it's going to speak to them in a in a in a non condescending way which it, which I think they're going to probably appreciate. Um, uh, one of my friends was talking about how they were disappointed that it was so difficult to get uh, an advanced book on magic published because if you leave the novices out then that reduces the audience to such a small number of people that it doesn't become financially viable and 
this is the risk that Theon Publishing have taken here. They've uh, published uh, an advanced book on the left-hand path. Um, uh, and, and I would say that this is uh, the, that this is, a, a, let's say, the, 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 the kind of left-hand path that, that, I can, that I can get behind, that I can agree with, you know, I can absolutely um, uh, get a feel for what Richard Gavin is talking about here. Uh, but I, I think mostly because it wasn't written for me, I didn't really get uh, quite a lot of it and uh, possibly enough of it to get engaged with the contents here. Yeah, I, I hope that's, <laughs> that's fair and, uh, and that's clear. Um, uh, so I, just, just to, to reiterate one more time, uh, if, you, if you felt like the, ben the Benighted Path was written with you in mind, you're going to love this. Uh, if you felt like you read The Benighted Path and you understood it and it was a useful book for you to understand this kind of way of thinking, but it's definitely not your way of thinking, then no, this, this, um, this, this second, this sequel uh, book is, is not written for you. Uh, the style is much more poetic as I was saying, uh, you know, uh, uh, metaphorical. Uh, well, that comes through uh, in in very, yeah, it, it com comes across as possibly uh, poetic language. Um, I'd say it's maybe a little bit more densely illustrated than the previous book, although, you know, by no means is this an art book. Uh, this is all public domain art that you can find easily on the internet and, um, uh, the, you know, the uh, old works of art, which add flavour to the text, right? Um, so, so that's that's really nice that Theon Publishing have have done that. Um, uh, the only thing that really re remains for me to talk about is um, uh, is the construction of the book, which is lovely, as always with Theon Publishing. We've got actually. Uh, uh, um, uh, 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 how to say an echo of the first book okay so we've got this uh, black and blue um, uh, covering on the first book and then this black and white covering on the second book and you can see that these um, uh, whiplash Art Nouveau <laughs> um, uh, uh, decorations kind of um, uh, make a reappearance in in both books which is really nice and then you've it's it's actually paint although it's very well um, printed actually there's there, there are no errors that I can see uh, it seems to have been very carefully um, made right uh, yeah this is definitely not what you're going to get from mass market books this is very definitely an independent publication uh, and an independent publication who cares about the quality of their binding which is which is great it's um, you know smith's own of course and uh, this uh, the, the the paper is really nice thick um uh, I, i'm not sure if it's just me it feels like the paper's a little bit less oppressively white uh, than uh, some of their previous um, books. I, I, I may be wrong, but uh, it, it's not. Uh, f it's not bothered me <laughs> the way uh, it it's, has in the past with some of their earlier books. This paper is lovely. Uh, I would say that you know if uh, they've got a, a steady supply of this paper, this is a this is a really nice stock. Um, the it's nice and thick. It's uh, it's you know it's not it's not shiny. It's not super super white. Uh, so uh, yeah, quite 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 pleasant actually. Um, and uh, yeah, and I think that's basically going to be it. Uh, the usual black ribbon. It's it's you know kind of thin, uh, but it uh, it's serviceable. It's, uh, it serves its purpose, uh, should I say? And uh, and. Yep, and that's that's going to be it from me. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you very soon with another video. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.